Hi everybody, hello, welcome. I'm going to be doing a gear breakdown for my Appalachian Trail 2022 through hike. First of all, I've got my backpack here. This is the Gossamer Gear G40 backpack. Ultra lightweight, very, very nice pack. I love it. It's got a uh, huge mesh pocket here on the front. You can put all kinds of stuff in. It's got these straps on the side you can lock down on the... Um, Front straps here, it's got a zippable pocket, you can put your phone or snacks or whatever you want to in there. Nice big padded um, straps. Inside, it's got this foam pad that comes out, you can use as a sit pad. I guess it's supposed to help your back too, I don't know, I haven't tried it on a long hike yet, so I'll let you know this Saturday how that works. But anyway, this is the Gossamer Gear G40 pack, that's what I turn all my gear in. Now, let's get into the gear. Alright, first of all, this is my sleeping bag. For my sleeping bag, I have the REI Magma 30-degree um, bag. Compressed is really, really small. This is their down sleeping bag. I live in Florida, and I wanted something really, really warm. So I went with a 30. But I also got, to go with that, the Sea to Summit Thermalite Fabric Reactor. This is my liner. This will take the sleeping bag from a 30 degree down to, I think, a 15 degree. Add 10 to 15 degrees. So I got this instead. I also figured during summertime, if it's hot, I can just use this as a sheet and sleep with this. So I got that to go with that as well. That will fit inside the stuff sack there. And along with that, I have my pillow. This is not an air pillow. This is just a regular old pillow inside of here they have down and pieces of cut off foam they use and this all folds up and tucks inside of itself packs really small i don't like the air pillows to me they feel like you're sleeping on a, a balloon or something i don't like the feel of them or the texture this is really really soft and once it sits out the longer it does it fluffs up even more really really comfortable i really like that a lot for my sleeping pad i've got this sleep and go blow up sleeping pad now the internet has some mixed reviews about this. Some people said it popped in the first night. I don't know, I haven't used it yet. But I do know it has a lifetime warranty. So if anything does go wrong, I can uh, send it back in and get another one. Plus I figure if it does pop on me, I'll just get another one while I'm in town. Switch it out, get something different. But I'm going to give it a shot. For the price, you can't beat it. So that's my sleeping pad. Next up I have my... REI Quarter Dome SL110. This is my tent. The whole tent weighs 1.15 ounces, so just under two pounds. Really, really lightweight. This is a tent and stakes with it. Uh, poles and the stakes I'm going to have on the outside of the pack. I'm going to actually store inside of here, just have the pack or the tent part inside the bag. So it takes up less room. So that is my tent. Next up in here, I've got my uh, rain gear. This is my Frog Togs rain gear. Keep this in a little stuff sack. So I've heard good things about them, bad things as well. Some people say they don't last, but again, they're cheap. They break, I'll get some new ones. No big deal. Okay, over here, this is my toiletry kit. Got toilet paper, Dr. Bronner's soap, peppermint scented, and my deuce of spades. So... Gonna be interesting no more need to say about that for my cookware this is the tokes cook stove or cook pile i should say i think it's a 6.5 ounce i believe this is what it looks like it's got the little handle that lifts up on the top the side handles flip out so you can hold it like a little cup inside the cook pot got my little stove my little gas for here for it. I'll show you what I got in here. This is my actual cook stove. I think the actual stove itself, just this part, I think it's like 15 or 20 bucks off Amazon, really cheap. Something like that. So all this does. Let me show you here. This just folds out like this. This screws on or something on the top. And this screws on to the Yes, just like that. So really simple design. 
Everything fits in here nice and neat. So I like that. Really portable. Really small. Lightweight. Weighs next to nothing. So that is my whole cook system. Of course, I have my Tokes long handle spoon. I went with the rounded one instead of the spork. So hopefully that'll work for me. So that's what's going there. That's my cook system. Along with my little cup here, I have a little collapsible cup. This just simply pops open. It's got, it actually has like a little metal lid, which I like that. A little metal rim. I don't know. I'm going to try it and see. Not much I'll actually use it, but I figured I might want some hot chocolate. I don't drink coffee, so I figured hot chocolate would probably work for me if I want some. So that's going to go inside of my food bag. I don't have food yet, but for food, I'm going to plan on getting just the usual stuff. I'll post a video of that later when it gets closer to time. So it comes with a rock sack, comes with a carabiner, has two things of rope in here. It's pretty durable so far. And this is the Selkirk Designs bag. I forgot how many liter this was. That's what I'm keeping all my food in. And I can hang it up in the tree. My bear bag. I got a little selfie stick I'm going to be bringing with me. My pocket knife. I'm a little Bic lighter. That's going to all go in there. All right, for water, I am going to be using the Sawyer Squeeze. This is the full size Sawyer Squeeze. All this does is screw right on top of a water bottle. You can drink it right out of the water bottle. I've heard good things about this, so I'm going to try it and see how it works. So that's my water bottle. I'm going to probably carry two bottles, one clean and one dirty. That way I can just keep going. I don't have to stop. Now let's get into clothes. As far as clothes, I'm going to keep them all in this sack right here. I've got, first of all, these breakaway pants. The legs zip off. They're really lightweight. They're really fast drying. So if it's a little chilly out one morning, I want to hike and be warm, I'll wear these pants. That's the pants I'm going to be wearing. Most days, though, I'm just going to wear these shorts. These are my golfing shorts. These are Under Armour, really fast drying, comfortable shorts. I wear these when I go golfing usually. So that's the shorts I'm going to be wearing. I'm going to be wearing this shirt typically, just a regular old Under Armour light blue shirt, really fast drying, lightweight, or this shirt here. This is a really lightweight shirt. It has the neck part that pulls up on it. And I'm also going to bring a fleece. I'm going April 1st. I don't know what the weather is going to be like. If it is cold, I want to be warm. Especially being from Florida, I'm not used to the cold. So I want to be warm so I can hike in this if I need to. Or just wear it at camp or whatever. But I want to have something warm just in case. I can always send it back if I don't need it. Next we have... My puffy jacket, I'm going to bring the jacket as well. Puffy jacket, and this compresses down. This is an Eddie Bauer puffy jacket. I got this at Kohl's for, I think, 30 bucks. Something like that, really cheap. Next, I have these um, sleep, ar sleep garments. These are thermals, but they're really lightweight, really soft. That's what I'm going to be sleeping in. And that's all the clothes I'm bringing. These socks here are merino wool socks. Really, really warm. I got these mostly to sleep in. I got two pairs of those, and we got two pairs of these darn tough socks. I'm bringing both of those. So four pairs total. I don't know if I'll need all of them or not, but I'm bringing those. And of course, my John Deere hat that I just got. Just something to keep the rain off of me and something to wear to help. Besides that, all I have to get is food and water and my anchor battery backup. But besides that, I've got all my gear. And I'm all set for my April 1st through hike 2022 on the Appalachian Trail. So, I'll pray for me and wish me luck. See you guys out there.